Hello, my friends. D.L. Anderson here. Welcome back to Transformation by Truth podcast as we share the truth concerning these last days and what you must do to save yourself from the violent times that are just ahead. Today's podcast is a word of truth accounting of the end times. The end is coming. The end is near. Today's podcast is entitled End Times 166, Rapture Truth, One Taken, One Left, Part 4. The podcast objectives are analyze how we are taken from the fifth season in these last days, analyze how we are taken from the sixth season in these last days, analyze how we are taken from the seventh season in these last days, and restate the vast importance of the seal of Elohim. This lesson contains timelines and other visuals. Therefore, if you are listening to the podcast, I advise you to watch the video version on our website or YouTube, or request a PDF of the lesson so you can add the visual effect. Carried through the day of Yahuwah. Now, in the most recent podcast, we analyzed how we are taken from the second season in these last days to the fourth season. Specifically, we showed how the Father will carry us from season to season while leaving all others behind. Towards the end of that podcast, we analyzed the violent natures of the sifting of the nations and the destruction of Mystery Babel, i.e. the third and fourth seasons. In accordance with the word of truth, nearly one half of the world's population will die during these two seasons. Think about that for a moment. Think about how one half of everyone you know on average will not survive these two seasons. They will die in the upcoming years. They will not continue into the ensuing season. They will all be left behind. Here again, this speaks to the violent nature of the three seasons at the heart of these last days. And this violence does not taper off after the destruction of Mystery Babel. On the contrary, the violence will escalate. It will reach an intense climax during the day of Yahuwah. Now, as you can see by the timeline below, the day of Yahuwah is the fifth season in these last days. It is the final of three seasons I refer to as the Great Confiscation. By definition, the Great Confiscation is the sum of all the activities that will span seasons three through five in these last days. By the end of it, close to 80% of the world's population will be destroyed. Moreover, the vast majority of the earth will be devastated and many lands will never recover. Now, the reason I refer to this time as the Great Confiscation is because 80% of the world will not die for arbitrary reasons. They will die because they do not have the seal of Elohim. Here is what they have failed to appreciate. The seal of Elohim is your ticket into the Millennial Kingdom. Thus, all who do not have this seal will fail to make it into the Kingdom. Rather, they will be removed, i.e. confiscated, from the earth during one of the seasons in these last days, in line with the parable of the darnel of the field. And as for those of us who have the seal, I would not have you ignorant to the great distress of those days. You must believe me, these will be the most difficult and complicated times in the history of our world. Surviving them will not be easy. 
even with the seal of Elohim. Now, the key, obviously, will be following the Spirit as he helps us navigate the following calamities, all of which we will witness on an unprecedented scale. Pandemics and health crises, geographical crises, financial crises, nuclear war, a post-nuclear Earth, and the deterioration of the atmosphere. If you think you will survive all these crises and more without the seal of Elohim, I advise you to think again. For as we are considering an unprecedented level of violence and destruction, we must possess an unprecedented degree of vision and protection. My dear friends, this is what we possess with the seal of Elohim. And this is why we will be guarded and why we alone will be carried through the day of Yahuwah. Carried through the restoration of the land. Now, those of us who are taken, who survive the day of Yahuwah, will enter the sixth season in these last days. Enter the restoration of the land of Israel. As you can see by the timeline below, the restoration of the land of Israel is the sixth season in these last days. It is the first season after the time of the great confiscation. In this regard, the father will shift his focus from destroying sinners and removing the stumbling blocks from the earth to making a home for a set of part ones. Now, the question of the hour is, why will the Father need to create a new home for his set of part ones following the day of Yahuwah? The answer, the day of Yahuwah will include a nuclear war that will devastate major parts of the earth. Specifically, the land of Israel will become a barren wasteland that cannot be inhabited. It will not be suitable for any form of life. And yet, it is the Father's desire to reestablish his chosen elect into that land. Therefore, he will restore the land before he brings us into it. And when he is done, it will be like the Garden of Eden. Now, Isaiah 51.3 is revealing, For Yahuwah shall comfort Zion. He shall comfort all her waste places. For he makes her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the Garden of Yahuwah. Joy and gladness are found in it, thanksgiving and the voice of song. Ezekiel 33, 33 through 36. Thus said the Master Yahuwah, On the day that I cleanse you from all your crookedness, I shall cause the cities to be inhabited, and the ruined places shall be rebuilt. And the land that was laid waste, tilled, instead of being a ruin before the eyes of all who pass by. And they shall say, this land that was laid waste has become like the Garden of Eden, and the wasted, the deserted, and the destroyed cities are now walled and inhabited. Then the nations which are left all around you shall know that I, Yahuwah, have rebuilt the destroyed places and planted what was laid waste. I, Yahuwah, have spoken it. And I shall do it. Now, this will indeed be a glorious occasion and a wondrous sight. Then again, the restoration of the land of Israel marks the beginning of the renewal of the heavens and the earth. It all starts with this season. Remember, there will be nuclear war during the day of Yahuwah. This war will not only devastate the earth, 
it will demolish our atmosphere beyond any manner of natural repair. This is why a renewal of the earth will be mandatory for human life to survive. And this renewal will begin with the land of Israel. Tis a garden paradise in the middle of the apocalypse sphere. Carried through the Battle of Armageddon. Now, the restoration of the land of Israel will set the stage for the ultimate battle, a war to end all wars. That would be the infamous Battle of Armageddon, the final battle. As you can see by the timeline below, the Battle of Armageddon is the seventh season in these last days. Of particular interest to us is the fact that the Battle of Armageddon will not only follow the restoration of the land of Israel, it will occur in the land. Remember, the earth will be decimated by nuclear war, natural disasters, and a vast array of global crises. These will devastate every nation on the earth, as death and destruction will be on every hand, and only a few men will be left. Nevertheless, while the rest of the earth is dying a slow and painful death, in the aftermath of the sifting of the nations, the destruction of Mystery Babel, and the day of Yahuwah, we will be thriving and flourishing in our new home as we prepare for the initiation of the Millennial Kingdom. However, before Yahushua returns to establish this kingdom, a coalition of Gentile nations will come up against us. In the latter days, they will be brought up to fulfill the prophecy and the seventh season in these last days, the Battle of Armageddon. Now, here's the question. Why will this coalition come up against the land of Israel at the end of these last days? The answer, their lands will be devastated. Therefore, they will come up against our land to seize it. Once they perceive the miraculous work Elohim has performed in Israel. Now, as I have said before, I will go into the details of this season and every season in future podcasts. For today, I simply want you to understand the natural evolution of the seven seasons in these last days and how we need the Father to take us. We need him to carry us through the unparalleled death and destruction that is coming. It's on the way. With specific regards to the Battle of Armageddon, this will be a crucial battle a battle where millions will come up against a small remnant who the Father had restored in season one and carried all the way to the final season in these last days. Per the timeline below, we will have made it through seven seasons. And in the seventh season, we will find ourselves surrounded by an army we cannot defeat on our own. This is exactly when Yahushua Messiah will return. He is coming to save us, and he will, after he obtains the victory in this most pivotal battle, a war to end all war. Likewise, the Battle of Armageddon and its aftermath marks the final stop of those who were not taken, i.e., all who did not obtain the seal and yet survive to witness this battle, they will not persist beyond this point. Even those who did not participate in the battle of Armageddon will perish, for it is recorded in the word of prophecy. Elohim will destroy them with fire. Everyone who was not sealed by the conclusion 
of the second season. As for those of us who have the seal, we will survive the Battle of Armageddon and move on from the seventh season in these last days into the Millennial Kingdom. Heretofore, as we progress this end time series and move on to analyze each season at the detailed level, I caution you to never underestimate the seal of Elohim. The same way words cannot express how violently terrible these last days will be, they cannot express how vital the seal is to our survival. Trust me, you will not survive without it. Therefore, seeing as the sealing of the set of part ones is coming to an end, my advice to you, again, is to make your calling and election sure. For without the seal, you will not be taken. For without the seal, you are none of his. 2 Timothy 2.19 Nevertheless, the solid foundation of Elohim stands firm. Having this seal, Yahuwah knows those who are his. And let everyone who names the name of Messiah turn away from unrighteousness. Now, here is the final word. There are seven seasons in these last days. One has ended, one is now, and five are yet to come. As you have learned in this miniseries concerning the one taken and the one left, the next three seasons will be the most violent of all, for they are seasons of sifting, seasons of destruction, and seasons of death. And although we, the chosen elect, will be guarded during this time, you must believe me, surviving these last days will not be easy. I would go so far as to say that surviving these last days will be the most difficult enterprise you ever undertake. And should you succeed, it will be the most difficult thing you ever do. This is why Elohim has raised us up to this ministry. For this is not a feat any man or woman can succeed on their own. And so I thank him for calling you to support us and for calling us to support you. Now, here is today's assignment. Meditate on the word you have heard today and ask the Father to reveal the truth to you. Remember, where there is no conviction, there can be no faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. Next, if the Spirit is leading you and you have not signed up for our mailing list, you can go to www.transformationbytruth.com to sign up today. We'll alert you as soon as podcasts are posted and we'll share our presentations, notes, and other materials at no cost. It is for your edification. And most importantly, you will be connected to me and those who have joined themselves to this ministry as we prophesy and align current events with the prophetic word. These discussions are taking place outside of this podcast ministry. Therefore, if the Spirit is leading you, and only if the Spirit is leading you, I encourage you to come and see. You will be in good spiritual company. Lastly, if you have any questions, please submit them via our contact form on our website. If you have any comments, please share those on the video page for this podcast, also on our website. Now, here is what's next. We completed today's podcast, End Times 166. One taken, one left, 
part four. And the next podcast is entitled In Times 170, No Time to be Raptured. I will post this podcast on Friday, June 2nd, 2023. Until then, my friends, continue to be led by the spirit of Elohim. Continue to watch. Continue to pray. Continue in fasting. And most of all, continue to be focused. For the end is coming. The end is near. Thank you.